All right, the next handy knot we're going to talk about is the clove hitch. The clove hitch is very useful for hanging um, items uh, somewhat temporarily. Uh, if you wanted to hang, let's say, a coil of line from a um, from a from a from a railing, then a clove hitch would be pretty good for that. Um, it's not really something you you don't want to put a lot of load on it, and you don't want something that's going to be kind of shaking around on it so that you don't want the load to be going on and off on and off because it will work itself apart but it's a very quick hitch to tie and it uh, comes apart pretty easily and it looks a lot like this so first you take the tail you pass it around the object that you're working with here that you want to fix your load to and give yourself enough to go around a couple times because that's what we're going to do so the next time you go around you cross over the first part that you put on there and as you come underneath you're going to go around again, but this time you're going to go under the last part you, that went on there. And you end up with this uh, bridge over a highway kind of look. And that's all there is to it. That is your clove hitch. You can see that it'll hold as I pull on it as long as the tension is constant. But if I constantly put it under load and take it off, it will eventually work itself right out. So, you know, if you want to really keep something on there, you're going to use a bowline or something of that nature. One more time. Pass the line completely around. As it comes across, you're going to go across the last part that you put on there. So in this time, this time I'm coming towards myself. The last time, I went under and I went up that way. So let's just do that one that way again. And then the next time you go under, so it's sort of like every time you go around, you just do something with the tail that relates to the very most recent part that you put around the object. So here. As we come around, we're going to be dealing with this last part that we put on there, which means we go over the top of it. Let me do it again like I did it the first time. So we're going to go over the top of it. It doesn't matter whether you go towards me or away from me. It's going to be the same rule. When you come back to the part that you just put on there, you can just go over the top and continue on around again. And then the next time you come around, you're going to do, again, you turn your attention to the part that you just put on there. This time you go underneath just like that. And you get that bridge over highway look, there's your clove hitch. If you want to be fancy, you can slip the clove hitch. It's called a slipped clove hitch, and that means that you just, put, you can put that tail right back in there. It's going to make a U-turn and go right back in there. And then what this does for you is allows you to untie it very quickly. 